Yo, nuts readers, thanks for tuning in, bitches. I love you all. We talked a little last night, but have you got a favorite stunt in the film? I mean, I think uh, the whole sequence in uh, Moab, Utah, when Julia is driving and they drive off the cliff. That, I think, was just just such a fun thing to watch, especially, you know, she's driving, she's so panicked. Oh my God! And she's so terrified of heights, and so then the fact that she drove off the cliff, it's just, it's just kind of comical, and um, yeah, I, I like that stuff. You are out of your mind. You know, it was the same cliff that Thumb and Louise went off, and I wanted to, you know, have a lot of these Easter eggs throughout the movie. That kind of particular stunt had never really been executed. The studio wanted us to do it in CG, and I was just like, no, there's no CG in this film. We're not going to start now at the end of the movie. We just fought and fought and figured out how to do it for real. Which was the toughest for you to shoot personally that you were involved with? When I had to drive at the camera at about 80 miles an hour and, and put it into a, an almost like a 180 turn and stop within a couple inches of the map box. I mean, that, that shot was planned way before we started shooting. I mean, our director said, you, you really have to practice this. And so the first take, uh, I stopped about 15 feet shy from the camera because I didn't want to hit the cameraman, which was our director. Mm. He came up to me and said, listen, if you, if you overshoot your mark, don't worry about it. And I'm driving a, a Konasek, which is, is so dangerously fast. He's like, if you hit me, don't worry about it. I'll just roll over the hood of the car. You are crazy. <laughs> and you know, he's a second generation stuntman, so he's used to that sort of thing, but it didn't make me feel better about the situation. And so finally on the third take, I got it within about, I don't know, about that far away from the 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 camera so that was you know that was really the only time that i was uh, uh, i think a little nervous the bus! Bus, the bus, the bus! oh you mean that bus 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 it's the grasshopper jump which is a four lane we call it a bunny hop across which is 170 feet, about 20 feet up in the air, and it took us about four months of planning to logistically deal with the physics and the terrain to make sure that when one of our stunt drivers did it, it was safe and doable. Oh, wait, wait, see, they're trying to trap us. You're just stripped onto the shoulder. No, 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 I'm, I'm going for the Hummer. He's a pavement prowler. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Jesus! We had all the real cars in the movie, but we built replicas for all the wrecks, because I wasn't about to wreck a real $3 million Lamborghini Elemento. They made a replica, so they had yeah. a chassis on. Right. I think it was a Ford engine or something, but it was a, it was a great engine, yeah. a chassis of a car, and then they take molds of the supercars and build. Right. So we had four or five of each car, so that in case they crashed them or they ruined them or yeah. while racing they got destroyed. <laughs> Konaseg, that's a real, for the Americans, it's, an, it's a rarity. We don't have Konasegs in America. And it was really, I wanted to have something different that people hadn't seen before. I was surprised at how much I liked the Mustang, actually, the new Mustang. I didn't think I would, and I've never really liked those cars before. We're gonna need a fast car. 
I mean, thanks to your Breaking Bad fame, what's the weirdest place you've been recognized or perhaps the strangest thing a, a fan has said or done? Grandmothers that are like 94 years old, that's the oldest um, person that has asked me to call them a bitch, which is just so funny. She just wanted, wanted to hear me say that to her. And she, she had to have been over 90 years old, um, but I love her for that. Oh, yeah. Mm. Do this. If this film's a success, and I'm pretty sure it will be, are you going to be back for the sequel? Uh, yeah, it'd be great. If they decided that they were going to make another one, um, I would absolutely jump on board. We had such a blast doing the first one, so do you want to do another one? Sure, why not? Mm.